Hi guys and welcome to an Excel tutorial of how to develop a web browser. So let me show you guys how this works. So if I enter, supposing I enter whatever site I want in there, let's go for maybe go for cwc.ac.uk. Just click on there we go guys. There we go. Okay so we can also go from there to maybe let's say uh, cnw.ac.uk that's meant to be college of northwest london let's see yeah we're there now and let's say we want to go from there to another institution let's say we want to go to let's go to middlesex university yeah you see so what I'm gonna do now is I want to take you guys straight into Excel development environment and we put one of these together so let's do that now guys in this tutorial we're going to learn how to develop a web browser using Excel so all you need to do is if you don't have your developer ribbon here click on file go to options select customize ribbon and make sure developer tab is checked and click on ok once that is taken care of come into developer tab let's say that's your developer tab in there select visual basic now come up here click on insert use a form if you like the choices yes you can always give your user form a name like i'm going to call my user form web browser that's the name of my user form okay now let's set the size of this form i'm going to make it 600 and the width i'm going to make that 1000 let's move this up so that you can see it let's say 1000 let's go for 1000 1030 as the width okay so now that we have that ready you see on the toolbox there this is supposed to be the web browser let's assume you don't have it let me delete it we don't have the web browser object there right click on it on the toolbar click on add and when you come right down here now let's look for microsoft web browser it's somewhere here and right there guys microsoft web browser make sure it's checked and click on ok if i click on ok you will see the icon right here so let's do that you see that now now select the web browser and just drag it how you want it so you can also go to the property here and just change the whole dimension the width I'm going to make that 1010 the height let's make the height 500 and maybe 60 there there we go so you can close this if you want or the other thing we can do is let's move this down a little bit or yep something like that and in here I'm going to add a text box add a text box here and we also need some buttons one Let's copy and paste another one here. So I'm going to need one here. In fact, I need two. And another one. One here. So let's give all these buttons a name. So start with this very one. Come to the property and let's give it a name. So the prop, the name of that very button, we can just call that search or you can use the search icon okay well let's change the name of that anyway CMB. and 
the next thing I would like to do is you see the text on it I'm gonna copy that from the spreadsheet itself let's come in here I'll show you once then I'll do the rest let's speed it up when we come in here we have uh, this is supposed to be the content that we can find on the if you come to insect and in here select symbol you see in the symbol we get things like this I'm going to use that for my uh, I will use that for my search and so on then we have the house go home that would be for go back and forth so I'm going to copy this let's come here and look for the caption of this and paste that in there but we're going to now have to change the font type to I think it's webbing that's it once it's changed you see what happened there so we also need to change the size let's change the size to something you guys can see right I can now just maybe minimize it if you want and the next one is the house so the house is going to represent home yeah copy that and that's going to be webbing as well come right down here and change that okay now we need to change the font to webbing right you see that guys has changed now we need to repeat exactly the same thing for those two buttons so this one is the arrow copy that come right in here and change this other one to the back arrow in the case of the back arrow the font size is winging yeah there we go and the same thing for this let's copy that again um, paste that in there and change that to winging yeah. now if you want you can also increase the font size for both let's increase it to about 14 so that you can see it yeah that's it done okay now we know the name of this so let's give this a name anyway let's call it txt url so in here we need txt url so let's double click on this and right in there we're going to say web browse one dots navigate and that means navigate into whatever we have inside the text box there you see this web browser one I'm going to copy that if you want you can always just drop this down and look for the form itself and let's go for form initialize let's see here they go and in there paste that in there when the form initialize I want the following website to be my default website yeah if we have a go at it grab hold of the form there we go that's the form there and run it okay that's what you see as my and in here if I enter supposing I go for www dot Let's go for ac.uk dot uk and click on this that should take us straight to Middlesex University but if I click on this I want this one to return me back home so what I intend to do is come right in here double click on this and take you back home back home is this copy that and there okay it's advisable you give all of these components a name though so I'm going to name them very fast 
from right in here and just give them all a name and this will become cmb home so i'll repeat the same thing for for all or for the rest component okay every single component now has the name so this one is to go back and that's for forward okay okay let's take care of the go back arrow we can always say web browse one dot go back and for the go forward the same thing we can say that as well so let's copy that dot go forward in the case of the home that's going to be web browser dot go home okay now if we run the system this is what's going to happen let's assume i enter anything there let's say a london i think it's called london mate something like that that is that uk if i search for that That's London mate. Okay, but supposing I want to go back home, we need this to take us back. But if I keep clicking that, I end up with an error. So, to take care of that very error, what I'm going to do is I will use an error. Go to, let's call it go underscore u r l. That is if there's error. Now, let's come in and say done. On error, this is where we want it to go to. So it's going to be go underscore URL equals. I want it to go back to my form initialize. Use a form initialize. Copy that and just paste that in here. So if there's nowhere for it to go, it will just return back to the home page. So I'm going to repeat the same thing for go forward. I'm going to copy all of that. Let's come in here. Select the form, double click on this. And paste that in there. And just change this around. Yeah, now let's run our program and see. Okay. I need to increase the size of this. I don't like it. Come in here. Go to and just let's look for this font size. Let's make that 12. All right. Run. And let's say the URL this time around is www. there we go and we can go back home because that's not the home that I have on my settings so I'm going to change go home so that means go home we want it to be let's take that out we just call whatever we have in there and do that call whatever we have inside initialize here because that is our go home there we go that's my go home so if i run it now again and I enter whatever i intend to enter in there let's go to my let's say let's see if we can search search dj omen there we go that's my youtube channel and let's go to my videos there, there we go. Those are my videos. And if I click on go home, I expect it to take me back home. Yeah, that's what I want. So DJ Omen. Okay. And if I click on go back, there we go. And we can also go forward. Let's see. 
see there's no arrow which is good enough for me and search for home there and that is how you create your own web browser using now uh, excel with few lines of code okay, so with that i'm going to call it the end of this tutorial i suppose you guys enjoyed so you all have a nice day and bye for now